And the river of space flows at the speed of light inwards on the horizon, and then faster than light inside. So if you imagine that you're a photon, a particle of light, you're like a little fish swimming against the tide. But if the tide's going at the speed of it's as fast as you can swim, the speed of light, you can't get out. We're now past the event horizon. We're past the event horizon, but we're still falling and falling. And finally, ah, uh, we begin to feel something. Gravity is increasing faster and faster. And this is where we get to maybe my favorite word uh, that I have okay. learned in the process of yeah. this. My understanding of this is when the gravity at your feet is so different from the gravity at your head that you begin to stretch in a very dramatic way. And this is spaghettification. Yeah. Could you explain what is happening here? Yeah. Another way of thinking about it is just that the distortion in space time is not constant over the length of your body. It's not only stretching, it's also a squashing. You start to feel this strange sensation of being stretched and squashed. And as you go closer and closer to the singularity, those effects become much more extreme until they're so extreme that, first of all, you, you cease to stay together. We're one you, long string of atoms? Yeah, well, what are yeah, we? Now? And then the atoms get, get separated and then the protons, the quarks inside the protons will get separated and ultimately everything has gone. Everything's been ripped apart. And all the ripped apart pieces that used to be us are still racing inward toward the singularity. I think it's really tempting to picture it as some infinitely dense point to which this star collapsed.